Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. A friend of mine just brought me back this souvenir from her trip to Mexico. It's a little jar of chili powder seasoning. Knowing that I'm a wimp when it comes to hot and spicy things, I'll probably just have to use just a little bit of it to spice things up and it will probably be a fabulous addition to fruit or other things I might choose to put it on. We find that often we want to add, whether it's salt, whether it's pepper, or a variety of different seasonings to add flavor to food, to recipes, whatever we may be putting together. We think at times that it maybe just needs a little something more to add a bit more flavor. Well, as we reflect this week on the passage from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verses 13 through 20, we find that the same is true in our spiritual life, that sometimes it can become a little bland, a little status quo. And what Matthew's Gospel reminds us is as followers of Christ, we are to be the light and the salt, we are to be there to add flavor, to be that preservative that helps to carry the message forward to the next generation and beyond, that preservative that preserves all that God holds to be true and right and just and kind, that we are to be that little extra bit of something that makes a difference in the world. So I encourage you this week to consider how you can spice things up and the encounters you have with people around you, what flavoring can you add to add that flavor of kindness and love and grace and hope? How can you preserve those things that are worth carrying on to the next generation? How can you make sure that God's message is heard and known and experienced by all God's people? I hope that you will find ways to spice up the world with kindness and grace and love. May you make a difference in the lives of those around you by all that you say and all that you do. May God continue to encourage you and guide you. May you carry the light and may you sprinkle some spice. Go with God's blessings.